Mr. Sandman, send me a pallet. <laughs> we still don't know where we are gonna put it. Sandman. <laughs> <laughs> In building with earth bags, we discovered our family thrived creatively and grew stronger by working side by side. We welcome you to be a part of our family for this week's adventure. This week, I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to be putting all of these pallets, but I gotta prep them. There's a lot of pallet projects yet to do in the RV. A lot of sanding. I don't know how much of these I'm going to be using. Don't know exactly which one I'm going to do next, so I decided to just cut up a pallet and get it all prepped and ready to go. Still don't know where it's going, but I can at least get it prepped. <laughs> options for the projects are the cutouts in the kitchen or the box under the couch. I wasn't really feeling those this week so I decided to go with option three. Come on. Oh I love that. I used my prepped palette to do a window trim mock-up. We got a little cross hatch going. Looks like that a picture frame huh? Yes, it's so cute. I absolutely adore, or I guess say a window, the window trim design that you have come up with. It's like, you know, in the crudes too. Yeah. When I was watching the window. That's what I feel like I'm watching the window. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard the lady. Let's give window trim a go. <laughs> posted a video that through our traveling we had some of this take place. There was a lot of suggestions which were great suggestions, ones we we're actually planning on doing and that is we want to run a razor blade just loosely in that crack so that when those panels do adjust as we're driving along they won't do this. But now I gotta fix this. My plan was to just rip it up, pull it all back. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. The issue with this is there's gonna be a bump. I'm gonna try to pull the wallpaper all all the way down off this panel and repaint it with the boot. I'm armed and dangerous. You see. Slightly confused, but still quite armed. Oh, Jared does it with one arm. Okay. <laughs> I'm armed and dangerous. Do you want the actual handle too? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> When I started working with the wall and pulling it down, I realized that it was really difficult to peel it. It was mm. not gonna be an easy task. I was like, well, I might as well just try sanding it and see how well it does. And I was really surprised to watch that line, for the most part, disappear. I might be doing a no-no. I noticed that I could sand this line. And then all of a sudden, I thought, man, it's gone ish. <laughs> I don't feel it. I kind of wonder if we're not going to see that. I should just paint it and be done with it. I don't know. I was just going to kind of go for it. What do you think? 
I think that would probably work out just fine. And, you know, the send it in me is extremely strong. There might be a little bit of a line, so we'll let you know if it's a problem. So I know it's no surprise, but it won. <laughs> Welcome. This is the yellow inner belly of the RV. <laughs> I'm more, but I couldn't think of more to say. <laughs> My job this week is very simple. Get this wall painted. Well, that's not all I'm gonna do. I also am going to finish the face of this and, and also this. So that means distressing it just like these walls and these cabinets are distressed. If you remember, we distressed and polyurethaned our cabinets and some of the walls in the RV. We'd like to carry that look into the bathroom. I'm not gonna paint the whole thing like last time instead of in a pain. So I'm gonna do the sides. All the edges are gonna be done in black. Then I'm gonna go all over it again with white and sand it and add polyurethane, you know, all the steps. But before we get to that, I want to paint the one yellow wall that we have planned in there. Decided on the yellow, it's kind of a cheery accent color, and we're hoping that that breaks up the monotony of the white that we have in there now and plan to have in there. I underestimated how much wood I would need, decided to cut up a new palette, which came with its own challenges. The boards on that palette are thicker than the previous uh, boards I had been using, so I decided to try to fix that. I decided to try to use a jointer to even them out to make them as thick as the, the previous ones, but that's only because that's what we had available. I know you're supposed to use a planer. Kind of but that's just this plain is, easy. Just... We'd rather really put our joints into it and do something different. <laughs> <laughs> worked and at least made the boards better it worked ish which really is what we i would say are like yeah we're, we're striving we're striving for worked ish it worked ish is always functional ish <laughs> Just covering up the black with some flat white, kicking some bow tie. So we're doing this to the door, to that, to the cabinet, but we're not doing it to this? Not to those two, those are just gonna be white. Okay. So I thought white here, white there. It'll make the small bathroom feel bigger. They're all separated in their window piles. I don't know, over this period of time, I keep thinking there's something that you're not supposed to shake, but you have to stir it. I keep thinking, oh no, 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 we can't shake that. I don't know, it's not the same. It's polyurethane that you can't really do this with. It's polyurethane and we'll get suds in it. That's what it was. I knew something you couldn't shake. You might have found out. You found out. I found out. <laughs> shake it. That's there. 
So now we don't have to wonder anymore. Yeah. We know that it's polyurethane. We love how everything turned out in the RV this week. Yes, I love how you got the cross hatching into the window trim. Mm. What a neat thing. I love cross hatching and to see it on those windows is just unique and fun, especially because you're working with straight lines. I feel like you got that fun circle-ish and a rustic way on those windows. And something that I was really kind of worried about was how the window trim would tie into the backsplash. But it turned out wonderfully. Yeah, it folded together and made that area look complete for sure. Mm -hmm. The blue fixture of the wall turned out surprisingly well. Mm -hmm. I think that if you whipped out your magnifying glass and did a quick close-up inspection, yeah. you'd I mean, probably see a line. I mean, if you're putting your nose in that corner, you're, you're going to be able to see it. But like just in a surface glance, you don't even yeah. notice it. I love the way that the bathroom is starting to really pull together now. Mm -hmm, for sure. I love getting that door that we did so long ago mm -hmm. onto those cabinets in the bathroom or cabinet. I guess singular yeah. in the bathroom. From there. We've got a lot more that we want to do in there and I'm super excited to see how all that comes together as well as all the other projects that we have planned. Every time another thing gets done it's just like, do I just finish it already? <laughs> yeah, we're getting excited to finish it, move in, and hit the road. wraps up this week. We have a plethora of designs over in our t-shirt shop as well as other types of merchandise that we offer there. We have a bunch of fun, cute, and creative designs for you to pick from on an assortment of products. So if you'd like to check that out, the link will be down in the description. If you missed last Wednesday's video, Shay and Skylar put together a unique video showing an organic bench that they created out of the tree that they recently took down. Stay tuned for next Wednesday because Garen and Ellie are going to be doing more on their van. We're really excited to see that. We really appreciate you hanging out with us at liking, commenting, and subscribing. We love hearing from you. If there's somebody in your life you're like, hey, Milo Homestead, they might enjoy it. We would really appreciate the share. That super helps us out. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for being a part of our family, and we look forward to hanging out with you on Monday for that podcast. Bye! Was it so much easier since we didn't cover these entire things in black? Oh, yes, as a matter of fact. Not so many emotions. I think the only things that we ended up really doing when we did all that work, like I did this corner and this corner, we did not need to do that at all. No, we didn't. That was such a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> the easy way is for sissies <laughs> that know what they're doing. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. What's the color of our RV? Baby blue. Should I be videoing this? Like getting the audio of this? Or are we going to get copy straight? Please, two seconds of baby blue is going to get us all striped up. Trim de la trim. Can you see this? <laughs> no, I can't see what you can see. I'll go back. We know that it's polyurethane or polyurethane. Pain. Gets all sudsy in the rain if you shake it up, mm -hmm. up and down, name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs>